In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make charges with Node. I'm going to do this in React on the front end, and I'm going to use Stripe as the payment processor. Before I get started, I'm going to put in the first comment. I'm going to be setting this up from an entire example from end to end. Now, if you just want to know how the Node part works, jump, check, take a look at the pinned message, uh, pinned comment from myself. It will give you the exact time um, where to jump to. Now, uh, I'm going to just jump in here. I, if you take a look at my screen, I have. Um, this boilerplate code, I know it works. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, clone it just because it's going to take a few minutes to install. Then I'll start explaining. So, git clone. I've included the link for this down below in the description. Um, it already exists. I'm just going to remove it. And I'll try that git clone again. Switch in there, do an npm install. Okay, thank you for subscribing recently. I've had an uptick in subscribers. I really appreciate the support. It makes me know that some of my videos are useful. <laughs> anyway, so what, what we're doing today is we're gonna uh, use Stripe here. Um, I got some other videos if you are interested on PHP and Python. Um, I'll, uh, the Python one's not out yet, but I'll include it in the in the comments down below. Anyway, so if you go to the Stripe documentation, you have to sign up for an account. Stripe is um, what, how you're going to process your credit card. So they take a slight credit card fee, like most stores. Um, and essentially what they do is they, they verify um, uh, the valid credit card. They, they make the charge, all that stuff. But they all do it from a developer standpoint. So it's all via an API. And so what we're going to do is use their SDK to ping their um, their API with this information. And since we're using um, Near, which is React as the front end, we're gonna have to use this library here. I've used it before, it's the quick checkout um, for React. If you look, we we need it just because um, we need this token item. If you can still generate, like I'm not saying you have to use React, but if you want to use another front end framework or just pure HTML, you just need this token get this token in JavaScript, uh, lots of ways. I'm pretty sure I have it in my PHP video on how to just do it in HTML, uh, sorry, in just JavaScript. Um, and you just need this token to be passed back to the back end. That's what I'm gonna mainly focus on the back end, but I have to do this front end portion before getting started. See, so it's still installing. So, um, one other thing we're going to do, so if you this is stripe.com slash documents, uh, we're going to follow this, we're going to go under payments, and we're going to say checkout. Um, scroll down, this is the um, token, this is the script that they provide you so that you can uh, create a token item with their quick checkout. Um, if you don't understand that, it means that uh, essentially we're, that's what this library does, but it does it for React, because you can't just put a, a, um, a script tag in the middle of um, a bundle the React component, so, um, but we're going to use that, so we're going to say, jump down to creating charges, where we use, all these, my, these are my API keys, they're going to go away, so I'm going to refresh them. As you can see, we pass in the Stripe token, um, we, the amount is in cents, so this is $10, the currency is US, uh, we can add a description, and the source is the token that we pass in, so we know it's coming from the front end, and we create a charge, the charge will return an ID. And this ID is the only thing that actually matters because um, this is how you reference it. So this is actually done in PHP here. So we don't we want Node. So this is Node. It's the same. It's an asynchronous call though. Um, I'll show you how to do this though. So what we're gonna need now that this is done, uh, you have to open up a text ad uh, editor. I'm gonna be using Atom here. And so in the config, you should rename this to be uh, config.js. And you don't actually have to set it because we're not saving anything, but if you're going to use this, um, just go on, on Easy API and sign up for an API key and create an, an app. Um, but first, we're going to do this, and we're just going to compile this to verify that everything has properly installed. So we're going to do npm run start dev. Looks like it has, it's going to be sitting on local host 2018. Okay, and 
So something's going to fail on the front end because it's trying to make a request to Easy API, but you don't actually have an, an, an API key or an app ID set up. So what we're going to do is delete those calls for now. Um, just do this, comment them completely out. We don't have uh, ESLint in this enabled, so they don't care if the if this is proper. So what I've done here is in the render, I've commented everything out, commented everything out here. Essentially, I have render with a div and a, a paragraph tag with the word test in it. And I scroll up, I just have an empty component did mount and an empty constructor. Um, so that's everything I have. This will still recompile. It's just compiled successfully. You should just say test. We're good there. What we're going to do is we're going to stop the server, or you can open up a new tab, and we're going to install this um, Stripe checkout. I'm not really focusing on the Stripe aspect of this. I'm, or, or, I'm just trying to get, show you the node, but I need with these first parts need to happen to, to show you how it works. Um, I can do it in just HTML, but um, I don't think that would be um, super beneficial because typically the pro a project isn't that small. And so we have Stripe checkout here. What uh, we need to do is uh, add this in to our code. Going to add it right here. Um, if you look, they're expecting a, a, a handler call, so we have to create a function called on token that gets handed a token. We're just going to throw a console log in there so we know that when it gets called. And the last thing we need to do is import the actual library. If we do npm run start again, uh, I didn't actually bind it. It's called on token, and then so this dot on token dot bind this, and it's fine because this is a hot reload, so it will reload this page. I don't have to worry about actually stopping the server and, server and restarting it. Um, okay, so the issue there is I don't actually have a valid uh, Stripe ID, uh, Stripe key in there. So here's my publishable one. This is just my test key, which is what CSS test. If you want to actually go into live mode, use it. Um, I'm just going to try this. And as you can see, I can get this Stripe checkout page. And if I go to their documents, um, have a quick start uh, as you can see it, this is check it's essentially what they want and so what we what we want is to do this and the test credit card is four two four two four two four two and then any date in the future and then any three digit CV and this is supposed to okay so on token was called and then the token object here is passed through what they need is the ID so token uh, uh, this ID okay so that steps on the whole front end aspect is set up now it's time to set up the back end so this is um, under server here we go to routes and I, I called the messages Um, I'll just leave that in there, but we'll delete this entire route. So this is called this is called Stripe or something like that. And this is my Stripe token. And we're just gonna follow literally follow the Stripe documentation here. So we actually need the Stripe uh, node SDK. So 
do an npm install stripe dash save. You'll have to grab your um, stripe key here, but. And then we're gonna uh, create a charge of ten dollars. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to print out the charge object because I want to show you how it, it comes out with a with an ID that you should probably save somewhere like Mongo or Easy API. Um, this is Stripe token. And the last step here is we have to pass it from the back end to the front end. So we use a token.id here. And we uh, the reason why I told you to just comment this out is because we have a post request right here, example an example of a post request. So this would be. Stripe token and then we pass through token.id. The only other thing we have to change is the endpoint API slash stripe, API slash stripe, stripe, not stripes. And we're run that again. Refresh the page. I just realized that I don't actually do anything with the response. So we're going to print out the response here. Okay, it's now all recompiled. Put in the email in, put in the test credit card, and hit pay. So the car call goes through on the front end. This is the this big object here is called is your charge object. Now it's, as you can see, charge.id um, is what you need to save. You can also create a customer. It doesn't have a customer here. And it's all your information regarding your um, the actual charge. You don't actually have to save the charge because you can always reference this later on. This is an important detail. The whole point of using Stripe is not to actually save um, credit card information. Let someone hit, like they they have some really smart people that come and let them do it. Um, and so as you can see, it returns uh, success true, um, which means essentially the credit card has been processed. It's gone through. And um, yeah, you, you've successfully made a charge on Stripe. I mean, I can go over my dashboard here. Uh, I think it's payments. And it says today I made uh, 9 a.m. I made a $10 charge and exactly the one I made. So that's how you do um, charges on Stripe. If you want to do multiple, I, I create a PHP video on it. Um, essentially, if you want to do multiple, you want to create a customer and then you assign the credit card to the customer and then you can just charge the customer again and again and again. If they, and um, I'm also next week, I'm going to come out with a, or I'm sorry, uh, today I'm also going to come out with a video on um, charging um, via subscription. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, check out that video as well. If you like this video, please like it. I'm sorry, but the whole setup process, um, it just verifying that, yeah, I want to show you how it, worked, how it works from start to finish and a completely working example. If you like this video, please um, sh share it. Please like it. If you have any questions, please put uh, them down in the comments below. Thanks for watching.